It is a homecoming of medical heroes. We previously brought you a story of a group of Toledo medics who were traveling to Florida to help hurricane victims. The team came home Sunday after 10 days of helping those in need. 13 Action News reporter Alexandria Manthe stands by live in studio with more. The team of medics and volunteers gave medical aid in three different parts of Florida, treating roughly 270 patients. In a disaster, everybody helps each other. A team of Toledo medics are back home after helping hurricane victims in Florida. We were in Newport Ritchie in a distribution center where they were distributing food, water and supplies. And we had a home base there and then we sent mobile teams out into the communities that got hit pretty bad. Dr. Pat is a medical doctor out of Maumee and chair of the Special Commission on Relief and Education, a group that partners with Catholic Charities for mission trips around the world, helping those in the wake of disaster. His team originally went for Hurricane Helene victims, but stayed in Florida for Hurricane Milton. And we were in a safe place when Hurricane Milton hit, so we were in a nice home that was built to a standard category five. We just hit, got hit with rain and water. The very next day, they were back to work. Most of them were homeless. Uh, a lot of them were in shelters and facing that kind of destruction twice. Dr. Pat says on their last day, the team treated over 70 people just in one day. A lot of tetanus vaccines, people that were getting injured, clearing up the debris. We replaced a lot of medications that they no longer had. And there were a lot of asthma patients. They were breathing in the mold. I mean, the water came up five feet into their mobile homes. The team also treated those experiencing anxiety, depression, and PTSD with medications, all the while flying the Toledo Rockets flag representing Northwest Ohio. Like any disaster, you see the good in a lot of people that, that work together. You know, neighbors helping neighbors, uh, again, when they're when they find out that we're from Toledo, they're just surprised that we would travel all that way to help them out. And Dr. Pat says the group left two bags of supplies for future aid teams to pick up where they left off, helping those dealing with devastation for weeks to come. Back to you.